It appears I have been summoned by you guys once again. This is a long requested video and I haven't really found purpose for it until so many people have been asking, but you guys kind of want like a, an equipment review. A lot of people have asked me <coughs> recently to do an equipment review. Car and tech is slowly becoming one and the same. I like tech, I use it to produce all my videos and whatnot, so I figured this would be good. There will be some cars later, let's ease into it. Uh, I got a package in the mail today from a company that I'm really excited to have have a product from but first I'm gonna run to the gym, but after that I'm ahead into our office Officina that's not I don't I don't that might not be Spanish I have to run to the post office and pick up a package a package and it's it's got a laptop in there a new one right now I have this this MacBook Pro I wrap this white I should probably not cover my face I wrap this I wrap this white yeah, it's pretty cool. And and this is HydroTurf on this so it doesn't get scratched. That is a monster of a computer from Apple's standpoint as far as uh, modifying it out. I'll go into that in the future. I'm not gonna do a comparison because they're not really simple to compare to each other. But for me, for what I need, and if you're making videos too, because a lot of you ask, because you want to make YouTube videos, you don't need all this crazy equipment. You could just use a cell phone editing software and a phone if you really had to. For those interested, keep watching. I'm gonna get into this. Give you guys a nice little unboxing because it's a brand new laptop. It just came out. This video is a video for you if you are interested in the 2019 Razer Blade Stealth 13. I'm not a tech guy, this is a car channel. I'm just a regular dude when it comes to laptops and computers. Like, I know what I like and I know what I need and I know what I want and I'm at least understanding of the verbiage and whatnot. This is just like from a average user and consumer and producer's perspective for this computer. So, I mean, if you fit that, which you probably do, the average person isn't a, a genius with laptops, but they do know what they're looking for, and I think I fit right in that category. So, if that suits you and you're new to the channel, subscribe down below right now. I'm blind right now because of the sun and my light and the camera's like eclipsing over. You can probably see that this is a weird spot for me to be filming. I know, I'm in my bed. I'm in kind of a hurry because I have a lot to do today, but I wanted to make this video for you guys. I gotta get a shirt on. That, that would help because it's cold out. If you're into some car stuff, we're about to do some cold starts perhaps yeah uh-huh then we'll do the laptop review so watch this not many unboxing videos from a consumer just a lot of tech reviewers if you're curious share this with a friend who might be interested we'll uh, we'll be over there in a second this yep this is this is getting weird so roll the uh, roll that intro and then I don't know what else I don't know what else I should probably not film in my bed again then again this is a little romantic between you and I you know yeah, if you're wondering, it's uh, it's Persian bear. Not not really. I I don't even. These pillows were like gifted to me from somewhere. Just roll the intro. <laughs> There you have it, my car fiends, a la cold start of a 2017 C7 Z06 in track mode. Kind of awkward at first because it starts out in Tory mode. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta switch it, but you, you'll get the gist of it. <laughs> ah, all right, I just left the gym. I'm on my way to the post office now. We can commence the relevance to this title. Thank you for sticking with me. It's worth it, I swear. Start off from the inside. You just gotta tilt that. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, mate, the eagle has landed, my friends. The eagle has landed. Yeah, and here we are. We have the box. This is what it looks like when you open it up. I'm gonna give you guys a nice empty box. Oh, God. Gonna use this to find the spot to cut it. Aha! Right here. On there we go, and put this back. Nah, yeah, we can put it in there. Y'all ready for this? This is gonna be cool. I'm excited. I have to see. You'll see. Ooh, let's open it together. We got this bubble wrap. That's nice. V2 spinner. This. Uh. Thanks, Razor. Forgot that that was coming. That. So thank you, Razor. What is this? Team Razor. Oh, these are stickers. Okay. Usable. I think that was with the V2 spinner. I don't think that comes with this. Mother of Pearl. Sweet Mother of Pearl. Here we go. And it's box. Black box. So it's a box within a box. As we open up. 
first thing I'm looking at is not the actual laptop. I think this is another box within the box within the box. At least I know it's safe and protected. This is probably the charger cable, I would imagine. It is. Uh, this, I believe, is a 65 watt, which is awesome because I can, I can use this on planes. Another reason why I got this for the portability and usability. You've probably seen that in some boring tech reviews, so that's cool. But the charger, uh, this, you know, this packaging, it's like the opposite of Apple. Like, it's still like a quality feel, more durable, less delicate. Throw that right there. Other side of that. And as we pull out, I'm gonna move this stuff. Oh, and you got the green on the bottom. I saw that. I saw, you could probably see it too with the stainless steel tabletop. I saw it right there and take that off. Take that off. This box, before I get into this, that's dope. I like vibrant colors. I like, uh, yeah, I like this. Razor, I like you. I approve of the packaging. Not that that matters, but oh my God, it's light. She is light. She is very light, little instruction manual. Now this is gonna be pleasing, just to pull this stuff off. And then when you open this up, nice little felt sheet right there. This is nice. So we got the NVIDIA GeForce MX150, four gigabyte GDDR5 VRAM. It's got the i7 processor in there too. The keys, nice. Just like how Razer had on the previous blades, you have these two stops right there. Now on my MacBook Pro, this is HydroTurf that I actually got from like uh, with the stuff you put on jet skis for water sports so it doesn't get scratched on tables and stuff. This is so light! Oh my God! I'm gonna... I'm gonna go through this with you guys. 13.3 inch, it's a matte screen. It's the 1080p, not the 4K. I didn't really want the 4K. I don't use 4K a lot. Again, I'm not gonna be using this for gaming too much. I'm, I'm gonna be using this for production work, for my videography, photography, things like that on this channel. But this is flush too. So if you do wanna wrap over it, like I was saying, I'm gonna vinyl wrap it, you're good to go. I don't think you'll even be able to see it. This is just flush, that's awesome. Real small bezel, this is all milled aluminum. I think this is all one piece, which is really badass. Like the MacBook, if you're go if you're like me and I've had Macs and I've been in the Apple ecosystem for so long, it feels nice, it feels rigid. This isn't a loner, this is my actual laptop from Razer. Thank you Razer for shipping this out so quickly. It's next day shipping right now until Christmas, I believe, or something like that. Also free shipping on orders over 79. It's sweet. I'll list a link for this laptop down below. You probably see it if you want to shop for it or other similar ones. Uh, I think the link is listed on Amazon, but this is nice. I like the keys. The reason why I didn't go for the MacBook Air for the price and all of it, I know this is close to it, but it's a little bit less and it's, it's just more operable and I, I, I like the mechanical feel of the keys. It's still not like what the MacBook Pro is, but it's pretty awesome. You have two speakers on the side. What I do want to do is start this bad boy up. Mm. Little Razer logo right there. It's not white. You notice you do have, uh, instead of that green lighting, make it look less like a gaming laptop, you have the posh serpents right there. And as this loads, we will operate my fidget spinner. I gotta say, the feel of all this stuff is really nice. This milled aluminum, I'm gonna pull these off. Not yet, but I will. I gotta give it to Mac with this. And again, before I get into any more of this stuff, let, let me just go over this with you. The reason why I'm kind of comparing the two, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm more so mating the two together because this is a more portable one that can do not the same stuff as this, but it's the same means to an end. Uh, video editing, I'm using Final Cut Pro, the Adobe Suite, and all that stuff for photography, videography, things like that. This should do enough. Maybe I'll give another recap once I've owned it for about a month or so and see if it can do the same thing this has. This has been perfect. This was about a $5,000 MacBook. I mean, this was fully loaded. Maybe I'll list the specs up here or something of what it was at the time in 2012 when I bought it, and it's still going strong. Like, this thing's a beast. It, it, this gets about 11 hours of battery life. Probably with me editing, I would say more so six to eight. We'll, we'll see. And I can charge this on a plane because of that 65 watt charger. I believe it's anything under 70 watts uh, you can charge on a plane anything over you can't and the charger on this is big huge bulky this is just small portable portability usability and it's light i mean it's not a big deal but like this uh, ounces make pounds gaming it seems to be a pretty good option it's just with the mx150 there are better options at the price range maybe this should have cost a little bit less it's about 15.99 or 16.99 only other option i was looking at was the microsoft surface laptop Two. It seems to have a better graphics card in it, but again, gaming laptop, eh, I mean, honestly, this, this isn't really so much a gaming laptop as it is more of like a work laptop, and for me, that's perfect. This is an Ultrabook, so it's being compared to other Ultrabooks, and other Ultrabooks have just better graphics cards. 
uh, like the Surface Pro Laptop Pro 2. Surface Laptop 2. Surface Laptop 2 has that fake suede, that fake Alcantara. Uh, I thought it was kind of cool at first, but then once I really started playing with it, I got a chance to edit on one of these and one of those. It was good. This is fine. It'll just be a little bit slower to render and whatnot, but it's not that big of a deal. Like, I'm not in a rush to do that stuff. Uh, I just don't want to take forever. And this is starting to take forever if I have it loaded with, uh, you know, not a lot of space. The memory's taken up. Ooh, we're opened up. We are good. We're going to click on this. I'm going to set this all up. I'm sure you don't need to see that. i to speed up this mouse. Screen. I'm going to get a little intimate with Cortana real quick. Assistive... So. I've noticed as I type on this keyboard, it's, it's nice, but it's not. It's not as mechanical or just loose and less there's less travel than there is on this macbook pro this just feels more solid obviously you're going to get that with a macbook pro this is a macbook pro retina from 2012 again 2019 razor blade stealth 13. they're not direct competitors but for me for me they're both something i need to use this is more of a stay-at-home mom and this is more of a side chick you know that's wifey Side chick, but side chick's pretty pretty beastly and pretty damn good. I'm gonna continue setting this up now that I made my what did I just make my email? I just made my email like a bunch yeah, look at no, no. You can use Windows Hello to log in. That's a definite plus. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like that a lot. I'm afraid of this not being able to sync to my iPhone very well, but I knew there was gonna be an app for it. It might sound kinda silly, but Realistically, like, look, I've been in the Apple ecosystem for that long. I'm, I'm new to this Windows 10 voluptuousness, as it may be. We'll see. There's apparently a lot of updates and everything. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm new to the Windows 10 world. Yeah. So bear with me. Though. Don't mind the cracked screen. I'm, I'm actually going to get the uh, iPhone XS to probably later tonight. Focus. What are you doing? Yeah. Microsoft Edge a for text iOS. The link to install your first app Thank you. is on its Shut up! phone. Shut up! Feel free to- Die! Thank you, yeah, yep, yeah. enough there. Carry on, carry on, cheerio. The way this is all set up to fit and finish, it is, it is Want to very close. Save files and photos? Die! This is good, look at that. It's, it's happening. You see the reflection in there, the glare maybe, not glare, but the reflection in that matte screen. Yeah, this might take several minutes, don't turn off your PC. That's, that's quite, that's quite fine. That's rather fine, thank you. We'll see. As this is loading and doing all this fun stuff, what are you doing? Oh, it's on. Well, I was gonna say, there's a little red rectangular subscribe button down there. Click that and then turn on the bell. Oh, this is choking me. This is some sharp al aluminum, actually. It's pretty sharp. Not like deadly sharp, but sharp. Click that bell button. I swear I'm okay. Um, and I'll live to make videos for you after you subscribe and you'll get notifications because I'll still, I'll still be alive. I'm not dying. Oh, I swear. As you can see, mate, we got this screen brightness. See, now is an opportune time to show you. If you if you hop onto your computer, you go to YouTube. There's a little sign in button up there. You go to that sign in button. Just I'm just seeing how this is. We're gonna see what the uh, audio is like too. I'm not gonna sign in yet, but let's just let's go to the coolest YouTube channel in the world. Supercars of oh nope 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 super. Hey hey, I'm just second best to Supercars of London. That that really. That's alright, dude. It's bright. We're gonna see how the speakers hold up in just a second. Uh, obviously, we're gonna listen to the coolest YouTube video ever. Well, that's a lot better than it is on the Mac, actually. Wow. It's not the best. The, the, I, I, I dare say the, the Surface Laptop 2 had better audio, but that, that doesn't matter to me because, I mean, I'm not editing with these headphones, but I'm going to be editing with headphones, usually just like a regular neutral, you know, not bass boosted headphones, just so I can see what the audio is like uh, from a general standpoint, generalized standpoint. But see that? You see that? Do you, do you see that there? Just click it. Just click on that when you go to my channel. And it's going to make you sign in if you're not signed in. Just sign in. Yeah, see? See that? Crazy how that works, right? What, so what do you think about this overall? I like it. Yeah, <clears throat> my brother likes it. Compared to the Lenovo I've been using since 2013. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just more compact. Well, they're all it's like that. Little they're all, flimsy, but. Yeah, compared now, to. Some of the ones though, I, so I went to Best Buy and like molested yeah. every every laptop I possibly could. This is, that's crazy that's how. That's made, uh, that's like CNC. Um, this is milled aluminum, aluminum apparently. This whole thing is all aluminum. Milled. But it's lighter, it's lighter. So I think they yeah. get rid of that rigidity and structural stuff for the lightness and that's why this is so light this is light as hell like this is like i think it, it it's might tell me it's like two and a half pounds i'll list specs to, up here crazy how small it is compared to lenovo because it has no bezel or anything like mine's older yeah so it has a bezel oh so that's a 13.3 
too. Yeah, but my but it has a bezel about an inch all yeah. the way around the edge, so it makes the whole thing bigger, and yeah. then the, the actual um, laptop yeah. or the keyboard, everything is. Which bigger. is crazy. It's firm mm -hmm. though, like this. Yeah. There's there's a little bit of flex here, but not too much, and I need to stop doing that. Trackpad's huge. It's it's the same size as the trackpad on the. This is a MacBook Pro. It's literally the same size. Oh wait, no, it is bigger than this. It's it's slightly larger. 15? This is a 15.5 or a 15. It just but looks massive compared to that little. Yeah, it's crazy, ridiculously heavy too. And this takes up about. Well, I'm sitting down, but like How my torso. How thick is it compared to that one? Yep, we'll do that too. But when I close this, oh, it's so light. And then this thing is just it's so tiny. Just. <clears throat> it's yeah. like carrying a notebook. Light, we can see that right there. So much. Let's put them right next to each other. Uh, you want one? If you watch this video after I post it, you can click the link down below and you can get one too. Great. I washed my hands before I did this video too. I swear I'm not even a, a greasy human. Um, yeah, self proclaimed. This is already getting these marks. Little fingerprint marks, oil marks. I don't care about that. It doesn't bother me. I'm probably gonna wrap this anyway just to protect it. And that's that. Uh, if you are interested in more videos with this, just subscribe and comment down below and let me know. Comment down below what your thoughts are. Overall, I'm generally satisfied with just the fit and finish of it. I didn't think it was gonna be that close to this compared to the predecessor of this. It wasn't, it just wasn't as awesome. But this, it's similar and, and, and matches the uniformity of the Razer blade 15 I just didn't want to get a 15 and while I also have this yeah because then I have two 15 inch laptops I'd rather one that's a little more portable I wanted to try this out plus it's a lower price point too so if you're thinking the same thing take the you know test the water take the baby step if you've been stuck in the Apple ecosystem like I have like a lot of people probably are for video editing and things like that I am so satisfied right now because I've easily gotten out of it the connectivity and stuff it's a simple Google search so you could probably figure that stuff out but uh, I just, I've been so busy with everything else, I haven't had a chance to do that. And that's that. I don't know what else to really go over. Brightness comparison, fully, all the way, boom, boom. And then we'll take this all the way down. The one thing the MacBook does, or the Apples do that this doesn't, is that goes all the way dim, all the way dark, and still runs, which I like, because sometimes I'll listen to like a podcast or something while I like sleep or whatever. If I'm on a plane, I don't want to be bright. This is, it's dim enough, but it's, if you're in a dark room, that's still gonna be kind of bright. Very trivial, trivial. Mainly because of what I'm looking for, this is everything I needed. And the new MacBook Pros just, they, they don't offer what I want. Like the only problem this really has is it doesn't offer a SD card slot. But it has, it has the USB, the USB-C, and then another USB as well as the charger along with the headphone jack. This has a headphone jack and this always, you know, this had the thunderbolts and, and things like that. So USB-C and regular USB. I did want basic USB because I didn't want to have to keep using adapters and USB-C dongles and stuff. It's not the, not the end of the world though. The only real, real, and this isn't even a big deal. It's not a big deal. Let me, let me disclaim, let me disclaim that before you, any trolls go down there and freak out. It's not a big deal. This is just so much more enjoyable to type and utilize than that that tingy, tinny sound. I mean, the, the MacBook Air, compared to this, this takes the cake, along with the Pro, that it just feels wet. It feels wet and damp typing on the brand new MacBooks. This, it feels great. This, it's good, it's really good. I like the 15 better. I think the 15 did it well with that mechanical, that laser uh, setting that they have for the keys, but what are you gonna do? I mean, it's not the end of the world. I really like it. I like the RGB, how it's full scale all the way across. It does still go RGB and go through the spectrum, but it's not how it was before. Whatever, maybe it saves battery. Again, it's gonna have longer battery life. It really is a cool touch that Razer threw this in there. I don't think you get this with every purchase. In summary, just to give you all an idea, the overall fit and finish and just everything is good. Uh, going from the packaging and opening that up, it is so close to being like an Apple product. It's there, but it's just not, not quite, but at the same time, you get all this cool stuff 
And if you look at the size comparison, it's so much smaller, it's more compact, it's everything I need, it's everything I want, really. This is just perfect. That is the only thing that the MacBook Pro really kind of beats it on is just the, the feel of the keyboard. Overall, my thoughts and everything on this, just a full synopsis and overview. After unboxing it and experiencing it in person, because again, this isn't a loaner model, this is mine. I, I purchased it and got it from Razer and I just, I'm really excited to use it and see how it works. I didn't want to get too technical because there are tech reviews out there. I wanted to give you an outlook or perspective from a regular person that is going to be using this. You know what I mean? Well, if you want to see the work I do, just subscribe to this channel and check out all the other videos. It'll get recommended to you now that you've seen this, I would imagine. Make videos with this car, this 986 back here. We've also got the 987 in there. We've also got the 987 back there too, two 987s, and I forgot to show you guys that. Yeah, um, not going to get too deep in all that stuff because again, this video was for this. I wanted to kind of answer one thing of what I'm gonna be using for 2019. It's gonna be this, I really need to vinyl wrap this before I drop it or do anything dumb. I'm gonna put it through a workload. I am so impressed by that MacBook Pro, that Retina display. Probably already commenting down below before you even got to this part. Why well, are you comparing that to that? They're totally different. They are, but at the end of the day, like I'm still doing the same task on that and on this. I'm not comparing them. I'm just really giving you my, my unboxing, my overview, everything like that. That's why I probably made the title, watch this before you buy one, just so you can get an average person's, an average consumer's review on it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If there's any other questions you have, I can make another one on this probably in the future. Uh, I'll probably do another review on it way, way down the road, but I want to kind of not start doing tech reviews and stuff. The tech I use, the equipment I use, I, I want to integrate some of that stuff because you're going to start seeing some crazy stuff in cars over the next coming years. I'm just going to predict that right now and, and tell you that that's my thought process is cars and tech are going to become way, 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 way more intimate. Other than that, if you have any questions, drop them below. I'd be happy to answer this for you. Click that link down below if you want to browse through the uh, Razer products on Amazon or anything like that. Hope I answered your questions. If not, again, I'll answer them. I'll catch you later. Oh.